What's going on guys? My name is Eskimo and welcome back to my Let's Play of Skyrim. Now where we last left off, <laughs> or where we last left off in the last episode, episode number 25, we cleared the entire dungeon of Raldbathar, but unfortunately, I am stuck inside of this thing. But like I said guys, welcome back to episode number 26 of my Let's Play, my hardcore Let's Play of Skyrim as Kevin the Khajiit. And as you can tell, I cannot get out of here. And that looks like it's the door. But for some reason, I can't get it open, so I don't know what's up with that. But it looks like to get through here, um, or to get out of here, I have to go back into Roldbathar. But since I am on the open world of Skyrim, I will fast travel, so I hopefully don't have to go all the way back through there because um, whenever I do get out of the fast travels or the loading menu I'm gonna show you guys something because I want to talk about where I'm gonna be going this episode and what you guys can expect so I'm definitely really excited for this episode and if you are new to the series well or new to my channel my name is Eskimo I like to do a variety of content Skyrim Gears of War Minecraft you know all that jizz you know my or all that shiz not all that jizz, no, no one heard me say that, but uh, yeah, here we go guys, so it's a hardcore roleplay, so basically that means I eat, I sleep, and do things like that, so it's about time that I find some shelter, because, you know, I, I slept inside of Rold before I ate in there, so I could deal with a little bit more adventuring, but Kevin, Kevin my Khajiit, the name of my Khajiit, he could deal with finding some more shelter, and... You know, I do know what's in this location, like around here, like especially Riverside Check. That'd be a great place for me to go and sleep, but you know, I don't want to go back in that direction of Windhelm. The way I want to travel is over here because, as you can tell, you know, I have markers over here and stuff like that, but I really don't have any markers around here. So I want to explore the map around here and hopefully find something. I guess I should say nice. I, I do know that there is a Dweamer or Dwimmer ruin around here, you know, around this area. So that's where we're going to be setting off in this episode, that direction. And hopefully it will be a good episode. Episode number 26 of my Let's Play of Skyrim as Kevin the Khajiit is not off to a good start. Oh my goodness, that was a horrible idea. But down here... So, if you guys don't know what this is, this is actually the place that I was just in. I believe, you know, um, back to the great market of Raldbathar, but it won't let me inside and it wouldn't let me out. So, maybe it's glitch, maybe it's not, maybe I need something like a key to unlock it to make it active for me to be able to activate it. But that makes no sense because usually when you need a key for a door, it says something like you need a key for this door or something like that. There are some doors in the game that you have to have a key to unlock and you can't use a lockpick or something like that. So, you know, that's why I'm thinking maybe it's glitched because I don't know why that's not open but right now. We, we're coming across this little ice wolf. So, oh, two ice wolves. Oh, it might be a little pack of ice wolves. So wish me luck. No, it's just two. Oh. Well, um, about that, that was a bit simple. There is another ice wolf over there, but I'm going to continue on on my journey in this direction because we've already came from that direction. If you guys don't remember in the last, actually, in episode number 24, I crossed that and went up to Raldbathar, and at the end of the episode, I think I ate and slept, so, you know, it's about that time again that I eat and sleep, so, you know, it's a new day, uh, yeah, new day, Hope so hopefully I find a new dungeon, and that looks like it might be something, but let me get out my map, and, yeah, that's actually something, because I don't have anything marked in this location, so I should be able to reach that, so how would I do that? Um, let's see if this is a little path or something like that right here, but this is definitely a path, right? So maybe just, maybe this will lead up to this area that I just saw, and I honestly have no idea what that is on, um, the min mini map that kind of looks like a tower, or, oh, it's a, yeah, it's an inn, so I thought it might also might have been an inn, and is this the inn that I think it is? Hmm, I wonder, I think this might have to do with the Dark Brotherhood or Thieves Guild. I am not entirely sure. Nightgate Inn. Let me see. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, maybe. You know, I'll go inside. And you guys did know that I said that I need something this episode. Like, I need to eat. I need to sleep. So, the inn is actually kind of perfect. And this guy right here. Okay. I know exactly where I'm at. So, this is actually a quest 
for the Dark Brotherhood, I believe. I think you have to assassinate that guy down there. And that's actually the best place to assassinate him because there's no people around, but... You can also assassinate him downstairs. I'm sorry if this is spoilers, but Skyrim's been out for two years now. So hopefully you've gotten a chance to play this. But, you know, downstairs, if I believe, if you kill him down there, there's a, a great place to actually keep him behind barrels and stuff like that. So let's see if we can go down there right now after, you know. Okay, okay. so in the cellar, I believe this is where he stays, right? So if I'm correct, there should be a bunch of barrels for like ale, mead, beer, stuff like that. So yeah, there there is, and there's probably a bed around here somewhere. Yeah, this is exactly that quest, so I'm really glad that like, you know, like a year or so later of pl doing that quest, that I actually remember that, so that's when you know that you made a good quest line, that somebody remembers it a long time away, because I actually love this Dark Brotherhood, and I love the Thieves Guild, so that's why I made Kevin a Khajiit, a, well, not a Khajiit, but a thief-like character, because I like that persuasion, but this is the innkeeper? Ah, hello there, traveler. Come to so the let's see. For food or lodging. Um, I'm actually coming for both, so, you know, I'd like to rent a room, and I'm, I'm going to check out what you have to sell. Food for the hungry. Have for sale. So, let's see. Food. I definitely don't need to look at the ingredients. Let's, um, let's go for some butter. Some, okay, I don't really need the butter for anything. I, can, I guess I could eat that, but that's gross. Just look at that. That's just like a giant bowl of butter, and I'm not going to eat that, but let's get the cooked beef chicken breast and since the mead was right next to it I'll go for that and some bread you know the butter can go on the bread sure but thing. I'm gonna rent a room bread. and all right so thank you for allowing me to rent a room anything you need just holler okay yeah he's gonna he's gonna lead me to it so once I get inside of here I'm gonna maybe shut the door if I can if I can't then oh well let me know if there's anything else you need Sure, Hodring. Uh, or you, I don't think you ever told me your name, but <laughs> sure thing, man. So I'm going to eat right now, so let's go to food, bread, or I, I guess I just ate some cabbage, so there's some green in my diet, but cooked beef. Let's see, what else did I say? I said Nord Mead, and I did buy some grilled chicken breast, but uh, actually that looks really good, so I'm going to eat that too. You know, like one, well, actually that steak probably would do it for me, but um, <laughs> regardless, you know. We ate. Oh, and if you guys notice, I'm actually going to places on foot. That means I'm not going to be fast traveling. I can use a carriage system and stuff like that. But basically, you know, I pay for travel. I find locations on foot, stuff like that. And that's just the entire gist of this role play. You know, I eat food, sleep, and pretty much play Skyrim as if it were real life. And since I've done that, a lot of you actually seem to say, Hey, Eskimo, I really like your Skyrim role play, or let's play for that reason, because you're actually role playing stuff like that. And I'm, I'm actually really glad about that because, you know... It, it just throws a bit of a twist on it, you know, makes it a bit more interesting, but let's see. Let's pull up my map and see which location I want to travel. So to the right, I believe that'd take me to the mountains, or it'd take me back to Nightgate Inn. I don't want to go to Nightgate Inn, and there's a lot of places over here that I haven't explored, but mountains are a lot of fun to actually travel around. So I'm tempted to go this way if uh, the road leads this way, but if not, then I'll go this way. So, you know... Since the mountains are pretty close, ooh, that's actually like a Dweamer Ruin or something like that up there. And there's something right there, actually. So we're going to go up this way and explore and see what this place has to offer. So we got a cave this way. We actually got a few things this way and a few things that way up there that I'm looking at right now. But let's see what what's this way. The reason why I'm going this way is even though I've already been over here, I just want to see like how close this stuff are. So it looks like there is a cave right next to me. So, yeah, I believe that might be a cave over here. And on top of that, it looks like there might be some ruins over here as well. So, we're going over here and gonna, we're going to see what this is. So, what is this place? It actually looks kind of interesting. Um, kind of, oh, whoa, uh-oh, uh-oh. I ain't about that life. Okay, I'm fully healed, so hopefully I can kill this. Oh, please, please tell me. Just give him, give, give him the saber cat the strafe. Okay, come on. 
well. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you get some kitty on kitty action. It gets fierce and the claws come out. And you know, maybe I should have fought that thing with my bear claws or something like that. But this looks like a burial or cavern or something like that. Um, hmm. The name of it was the Forsaken Cave, so I'm interested um, of what it, what it entails. But we're going to go up here because it looks like there's a Nordic ruin there. Something like that up here. So we're going to check that out, and after we check that out, see the name of it. If it sounds interesting enough, we can go in there. If not, then we can go all the way back to that little mountain pass that we saw, because I'm really wondering what's up there. So, your grim overlook. Ooh. I don't uh oh Where is it? Oh. So, okay, I'm going to kill the skeleton real quick. So there's this locked gate right here, and inside of this gate is that chest right there. So that definitely looks like I really want to get in, but I don't know how many lockpicks I have, which is kind of unfortunate. But what's that over there? Have I even discovered that fort? Um, yeah, I have. That's Fort Kastav, and I actually um was there in episode 24, I believe. And you know, I came out after it was a dud and stuff like that, and I came down this way, then made my journey this way. I'm kind of, kind of. <laughs> kind of sad that I didn't even see this, but let's see how many lockpicks I have. Check the skeletons first. Maybe they'll have a lockpick or two, so no lockpick there. Come on, have a lockpick with just one. Oh, maybe these burial urns have lockpicks. No, just gold. Ugh. Really hoping for some lockpicks, but we didn't find any, so let's see. Expert. I'm pretty sure I could get that. You know, my lockpicking is or level 50 almost, and I... Yeah, you know, I might as well since I'm about to hit level 50 and I have nine lock picks, so. Ooh, no way. First try. First try. And we get a chest. And it looks like I level up too, so I may have leveled up. Um, Elven Battle Axe, I could really sell that and get some gold, so. I, I don't think I leveled up. I'm actually one skill away from leveling up, so maybe I'll get that this episode. Who knows? What level am I on? So I'm on level 17, about to be level 18, so... Hmm. This episode, or episode number 27, I'm gonna hit level 20... Or not 28, but level 18. So really excited for that because I love picking perks because in the last episode I got this little perk right here So check that out. It's a little mini roll. I never really invested in the thief stuff like that So this is actually really cool to me, you know, I, I don't think that's as fast as I can go You know, I'm pretty sure I could go a whole lot faster if I were to sprint or something like that, but ooh. So if you guys remember this I actually kind of forgot about that because I was talking about going all the way back to that mountain pass over there But this was right here And you know I might be able to hop down off the ledges or something like that and this interconnects or something like that So who knows so just really gonna ignore the animals actually I could deal with fighting them because I'm about to level up No, it's just a little it's not even hostile So you know I might as well not even bother with it, but you know this is a pretty steep mountain pass right now, so hmm what is this? I know this is one of the things, uh, excuse me, um, yeah, this would take me down into Blackreach, maybe this was, yeah, if I can see, so right there, if you guys can't tell, that looks like, to me, that's the Dweemer ruin that I saw that I didn't really want to go into, so I think that these two might may actually be connected, if not, oh well, you know, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it, but there's this little mountain pass down here that leads all the way down, and... Hmm. I believe, oh, the, <laughs> there's another, ooh, there's two two things down here. So let's go and fight him. Oh, Vilkas? No way. Is that Vilkas? No way. What's up with the 3D animation? Um, let's, let's talk to him. You okay, man? I suppose you have another question. No. Rhea? How do you feel? What? Oh my goodness, don't tell me I have something. So let's see, general stats. Oh no. Where would that even be at? Oh. Where did I find out if I'm, I've am i contracted something like that? I'm pretty sure it's under general stats. Uh-oh. Hmm. Let me see if I can find it. Because I'm, <laughs> it kind of scares me. So diseases contracted one. But what disease is it? it 
Oh. Oh man, this is not good. So I contracted something, but I don't know what I contracted. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go up here now through this little mountain pass. So this is the mountain pass that I was right next to, and maybe I'll get my longsword up for for killing small little animals and stuff like that. But wait, this can be the mountain pass I saw, is it? I oh, I guess it is, and it just leads to a dead end right here. So this actually wasn't that. <laughs> far of a journey so I guess next episode or maybe this episode oh iron bind barrow sit here and wait. We should be in there. who are you we must gather our strength who knows what's inside who is Treasure, this that's what get off your scaly rump and let's go hush Salma we aren't alone um hello Beamja I admit Ugh, okay, we should Selma. be inside loading up on treasure. Worry Scales here thinks we should wait, though. Don't get any ideas either. We were here first. Um, what do you expect to find inside? <laughs> it's named Iron Bind at Barrow, and that doesn't really give any clues of what's inside. Gold, silver, gems, maybe. Only one way to find out. Well, you're right about that, but. What's going on between you two, or what's, what, what's going on in general? I don't care what Beam says. It's high time we get in there and find our fortune. I don't know about you, but I guess I'm gonna go in there. Not without us, you aren't. I'm sure there's enough for everyone, after all. Come on, Beamja. We're going. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like I have... That easily. Let's see what's here. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to go in. I don't care what Beam says. It's uh, I guess we are. <laughs> I guess I'm going into Iron Bind Barrow. I really don't have a choice because I wanted to tell them to stop or something like that. I, I didn't know I was going to go in with them. But, um, looks like I have two followers for Iron Bind Barrow. So, we'll see what's inside or something like that. So, let's see. Okay. Just checking the time. But, um, ooh, it's a little snowy dungeon, but there's this little spider right here. Okay, he's dead. This is, that one's dead. What's this right here? So, silver ore. Don't really need silver ore. Whoa, are, are they seriously just running through this dungeon? <laughs> They're tanks. Um, I'm not about that life. I didn't really want to rush through here, but I guess I'll lead the way. <laughs> so, um, I guess, it, oh, what? What? No, I'm not going to fight that thing. That's humongous. I guess I got to help. Don't die. Don't die. Look at me. Look at me. Is it, is it, what? He's dead. So he's dead. There's this little spider corpses here. Or <laughs> corpses wrapped in spider wool? Something? I don't know. What is this? Ooh, this looks really this cool. It. We found Gathric's tomb. Who's Gathric? Who who's that? Ooh. Looks really awesome. So this looks like the only way I can go, so uh oh. I I could activate that handle. So there's that little handle right there. Let me see if there's a the, there's a chest over here. This chest just looks like it's too good to be true. So I'm gonna activate it, get that, and something's gonna happen. No, nothing happened. <laughs> wow, I've been set. Up. Oh, I don't know what's going on there, but I guess I'm gonna activate the handle. So let's get in there. And this is a wooden door. I thought it might have been a, a loading area. So we're in Gathric's tomb right now, and gonna shut this door on them. <laughs> Not gonna bother with that at all. Nope, not in a million. I shield. Oh no! Come on. There's. Man, I like these guys. They're powerful. I really, I like teaming with them. They're powerful. But uh, I was wondering what that sword was. I was just creeping slowly towards it. My Khajiit senses peaked. They're like, ooh, Eskimo. What is? Or Kevin? What is that? Orcish warhammer. 
I mean, I'm just gonna let them lead away. They, they, they don't even really need my help. They can do this by themselves, probably. They're probably, honestly, programmed to be able to do this by themselves, but a sapphire? Dwarven helmet? Man, I'm getting all kinds of loot right now. And this is only the beginning of the tomb, so it's only just begun, so. Hey, hey how you doing? Whoa. Oh, don't get shattered off. That wouldn't be good. Man, I <laughs> since I'm with him, I'm probably not even going to gain a level this episode. Oh, well. Um, I could possibly gain a level from lockpicking this, but I don't know how much XP a adept chest would give me. So, uh-oh. Uh okay, so it's about around this area right here. Let's see if we get it. Oh, a little lower, a little, nope, a bit higher. Come on, come on, no, no. At least I remember where it was. So right here, so let's try that. A little bit higher, hopefully. Come on, what? A little bit higher? There we go, finally. I was kind of scared when I a little bit, went a little bit higher and it didn't work. I was like, do I have to go lower? That would suck. Okay, here we go. I guess going down. And what's this? Uh... Iron gate. Okay, I can open that and go ahead. Okay, they're just waiting for me. They're like, hey, Eskimo, you do your thing. We'll do our thing and just wait here for you. Okay. Um, I guess we got a fight going on. There we go. I, I, I'm leveling up now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course this is a trap. I'm not going to take that. So level up. Let's see. Let me get some of that health, because I want to go over to, or I want to at least be at 200, so I got 200 health. Let me go, I don't really want to look at two, this stuff, so let's, let's check out this one-handed, so hack and slash, war axes, don't really want to use a war axe. Dual wielding, not going to dual wield. Backwards power attack, standing power attack. Um... I guess I'm gonna do this because you know I'm noticing that the opponents that I'm playing they're not exactly really strong or anything like that they're just um, um, have a bit more health than normal so I could deal with dealing a little bit more extra damage so that's not a bad investment even though I do want to investigate in the other stuff so Dwarven Helmet of Water Breathing Ooh, that's actually a really good enchantment. So, just checking around right now. So, water breathing. If I can breathe underwater for the entire time, that'd be really cool. But, you know, I'm just checking around this room right now. Making sure there's nothing I'm missing. Oh, I'm really sketched out about this because he's like, oh, that's a trap if I've ever seen one. You know, I, I'm getting the same feeling. It's just a helmet on a pedestal. So, obviously, it's a trap, but what? <laughs> where's it going to lead? You know, like, what's going to happen after that? I guess that's the next question. Ooh, what's this? Activate chain. Ooh. What? Okay. You know, I, I, I can see those right there. I could take that. I activated the chain. I can go on through. So at least I used my head a little bit and thought ahead. I was like... You know, this, this seems too good to be true, right? But it looks like we have a bit of a door ahead. But guys, before I grab that, I'm going to end off the episode. <laughs> Scumbag Eskimo. I know, but in the next episode, I'm going to grab that. Hopefully, I won't die or anything like that. And we'll continue on and see what's going on in Iron Bind Barrow. And I believe she may have said that the person's tomb who this belongs to is Gro Grothic's tomb and that could be one of the nine lords or something like that who have masks or something like that dragon priest I believe that's their names it looks like that actually might be the case from how this guy looks but that's definitely some really cool art on the wall and stuff like that but as always guys I'm Eskimo remember to click that like button and I shall see you all next time